Federalism in India describes the distribution of legal authority across national, state and local governments in India. The Constitution of India establishes a federal structure to the Indian government, declaring it to be a union of states. Part 11 of the Indian Constitution specifies the distribution of legislative, administrative and executive powers between the union, federal, central government and the states of India. The legislative powers are categorized under a union list, a state list and a concurrent list, representing, respectively, the powers conferred upon the union government, those conferred upon the state governments and powers shared among them. This federalism is asymmetric in that the devolved powers of the constituent units are not all the same. The state of Jammu and Kashmir was accorded a higher degree of autonomy than other states under Article 370. Union territories are unitary type, directly governed by the Union government. Article 1 of the Constitution stipulates two-tier governance with an additional local elected government. Delhi and Puducherry were accorded legislatures under Article 239AA and 239A, respectively. The fundamental rights of citizens vary by state per Article 31 B, as changes are added to Constitution Schedule 9 by constitutional amendments. Legislative powers The division of powers are defined by the Constitution and the legislative powers are divided into three lists. Union list Union list consists of 100 items earlier 97 on which the Parliament has exclusive power to legislate including, defence, armed forces, arms and ammunition, atomic energy, foreign affairs, war and peace, citizenship, extradition, railways, shipping and navigation, airways, posts and telegraphs, telephones, wireless and broadcasting, currency, foreign trade, interstate trade and commerce, banking, insurance, control of industries, regulation and development of mines, mineral and oil resources, elections, audit of government accounts, constitution and organization of the Supreme Court, High Courts and Union Public Service Commission, income tax, custom duties and export duties, duties of excise, corporation tax, taxes on capital value of assets, estate duty and terminal taxes. State list State list consists of 61 items earlier 66 items. Uniformity is desirable but not essential on items in this list, maintaining law and order, police forces, health care, transport, land policies, electricity in the state, village administration, etc. The state legislature has exclusive power to make laws on these subjects. In certain circumstances, the Parliament can make laws on subjects mentioned in the state list, but to do so the Council of States Rajya Sabha must pass a resolution with a two-thirds majority that it is expedient to legislate in the national interest, though states have exclusive powers to legislate with regards to items on the state list. Articles 249, 250, 252, and 253 mention situations in which the Union government can legislate. Topic. Concurrent list Concurrent list consists of 52 earlier 47 items. Uniformity is desirable but not essential on items in this list. The list mentions, marriage and divorce, transfer of property other than agricultural land, education, contracts, bankruptcy and insolvency, trustees and trusts, civil procedure, contempt of court, adulteration of foodstuffs, drugs and poisons, economic and social planning, trade unions, labor welfare, electricity, newspapers, books and printing press and s stamp duties. Other residuary subjects Subjects not mentioned in any of the three lists are known as residuary subjects. However, many provisions in the Constitution outside these lists permit Parliament or State Legislative Assembly to legislate. Excluding the provisions of the Constitution outside these lists per Article 245, the power to legislate on such subjects, rests with the Parliament exclusively per Article 248. Parliament shall legislate on residuary subjects following the Article 368 procedure as constitutional amendments. 
In case the above lists are to be expanded or amended, the legislation should be done by the Parliament under its constituent power per Article 368 with ratification by the majority of the states. Federalism is part of the basic structure of the Indian Constitution which cannot be altered or destroyed through constitutional amendments under the constituent powers of the Parliament without undergoing judicial review by the Supreme Court. Executive powers The Union and states have independent executive staffs controlled by their respective governments. In legislative and administrative matters, the central government cannot overrule the constitutional rights, powers of a state government except when presidential rule is declared in a state. The Union's duty is to ensure that the government of every state is carried on in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution as per Article 355 and Article 256. The state governments cannot violate the central laws in administrative matters. When a state violates the Constitution, presidential rule is imposed under Article 356 and the President takes over the state's administration with ex post facto consent of the Parliament per Article 357. Topic. Financial powers Article 282 accords financial autonomy in spending financial resources available to the states for public purpose. Article 293 allows states to borrow without limit without consent from the Union government. However, the Union government can insist upon compliance with its loan terms when a state has outstanding loans charged to the Consolidated Fund of India or a federally guaranteed loan. The President of India constitutes a finance commission every five years to recommend devolution of Union revenues to state governments. Under Article 360, the President can proclaim a financial emergency when the financial stability or credit of the nation or of any part of its territory is threatened. However, no guidelines define financial emergency for the country or a state or a union territory or a panchayat or a municipality or a corporation. Such an emergency must be approved by the parliament within two months by a simple majority and has never been declared. A state of financial emergency remains in force indefinitely until revoked by the president. The president can reduce the salaries of all government officials, including judges of the Supreme Court and High Courts, in cases of a financial emergency. All money bills passed by the state legislatures are submitted to the president for approval. He can direct the state to observe economy measures. Topic: <laughs> Disputes. States can make agreements among themselves. When a dispute arises with other states or a union territory or the central government, the Supreme Court adjudicates per article 141. However, Article 262 excludes Supreme Court jurisdiction with respect to adjudication of disputes in the use, distribution or control of interstate river waters. Under Article 263 the President can establish an interstate council to coordinate, resolve disputes between states and the Union. Territories <inaudible> 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 Article 1, 1 says that India is a union of states as elaborated under Parts 5 the union and v the states of the Constitution. Article 1 3 says territories of India constitute states, union territories and other acquired territories. The concept of union territory was established by the Seventh Amendment. References to territories of India, are applicable to the whole country including union territories. References to only India, are applicable to states, but not to union territories. Topic Jammu and Kashmir The state of Jammu and Kashmir J and K has a separate set of applicable laws under Article 370 read with application to Jammu and Kashmir Order, 1954 Appendix I and II of the Indian Constitution. Only matters related to defence, foreign relations and communications of Jammu and Kashmir are under the jurisdiction of Union government. Laws enacted by the Parliament including amendments to the Constitution applicable to rest of India are not valid in J&K unless ratified by its State Assembly. The Government of India can declare a state of emergency in J&K and impose Governor's rule in certain conditions. 
The state has its own constitution other than applicable Indian constitution. Part 12 of the J&K State Constitution makes provision to amend its constitution with two-thirds majority by the State Assembly. Part 6 the states and Part 14 services of the Indian Constitution are not applicable to J&K per Article 152 and Article 308. Issues <inaudible> 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 The Government of India Act 1935 aimed to establish India as a federation of states. It emphasized division of powers, independent and apolitical governors and governors general and introduced provincial autonomy for the first time in India. On 26 January 1950, India adopted a new constitution. <laughs> Unitary bias Article 1, 1 of the Constitution says India shall be a union of states and its citizens shall have at least two-tiered governance. The people of a union territory have every right to opt for statehood. However, the amended in 1956 Article 3, allows the union government power with prior consent of the President common head of states and union governments to a form a new state, UT by separating a territory of any state, or by uniting two or more states, UTs or parts of states, UTs, or by uniting any territory to a part of any state, UT, b the power to establish new states, UT which were not previously under India's territory which were not in existence before. Topic. Appointment and role of governors Governor appointments are the responsibility of the president, on the advice of the union government. Governors are generally not residents of the state. Should the constitutional machinery in a state break down, Article 356 allows a state of emergency that dissolves the state government and establishes presidential rule. No emergency at the center can dissolve the union government. Misuse of Article 356 was rampant in the decades following its adoption, during the Indira Gandhi era. In 1991 the Supreme Court passed a landmark judgment acknowledging misuse of the article and establishing principles for the Union government to follow before a state emergency can be invoked. The lieutenant governors of Union territories of India are designed as administrators and are appointed by the President on the advice of the Union government. Lieutenant Governors can override local government policies. Topic economic federalism States are at liberty to manage their finances as long as that does not lead to financial emergency as per Article 360. The Government of India is trying to impose uniform taxation throughout India and to take over states' tax collection mechanisms without regard to the impacts on individual states. Recently the Supreme Court upheld the constitutional right of states to impose an entry tax which is against the principle of a general sales tax GST, control of industries, which was a subject in the concurrent list in the 1935 Act, was transferred to the Union List. The Union government in 1952 introduced the freight equalization policy that damaged many Indian states, including West Bengal, Bihar including present-day Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh including present-day Chhattisgarh and Orissa. These states lost their competitive advantage of holding mineral resources, as factories could now operate anywhere in India. This was not the case in the pre-independence era when business houses such as the Tatas and the Dalmias set up industries in these states, and most of the engineering industry was located in West Bengal. Following the end of the policy in the early 1990s, these states did not catch up with more industrialized states. In 1996, the Commerce and Industry Minister of West Bengal complained that the removal of the freight equalization and licensing policies cannot compensate for the ill that has already been done. National laws permit a private, public limited company to raise loans internally and externally to its capacity. The Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act, 2003 limits state borrowing even when they have not defaulted, faced a financial emergency. The employees' salary and pension expenditure of many state governments exceed their total revenue, without the President declaring a financial emergency. Article 47 of Directive Principles of the State Policy prohibits intoxicating drinks that are injurious to health but is not enforced. Instead many states promote and tax liquor sales. <laughs> Political economy 
The government is devolving central funds to the states under specific schemes Narega, etc., whose implementation by the states is controversially subject to government approval, which violates Article 282. The controversy arises from the fact that the grants for centrally sponsored schemes and central plan schemes are under the ruling party's control and discretion. In 2017, the ruling party was accused of ignoring states in need or where poor people are concentrated, in order to pursue partisan goals. This was described as pork barrel politics. The party's nomenclature is designed to convey that the central government is the source of these policies. <laughs> government of India Act 1935 versus Constitution of India 1950. Comparison with USA and EU See also <laughs> <laughs>